Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone and in this video we're gonna be going over the top five fastest killing guns here in season five of Call of Duty Vanguard. These class setups are guaranteed to help you guys secure your first V2 rocket. So with all being said, the like goal on this video is going to be 400 likes and if you guys are enjoying the content on the channel and find these class setups helpful, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications. If you guys want a shout out, make sure you guys comment Noti Gang down in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and build these class setups. So first off, we're taking a look at the Vargo S. This assault rifle is criminally underrated and it can outgun the automaton with the right class setup. So first off, under the muzzle category, we have to put on the MX silencer. So we have that sound suppression and accuracy. This is gonna be perfect, allowing us to use this weapon at longer ranges, but we're also gonna be able to get on the enemy team and build up a quick and easy gun streak and that's going to be super important when going for v2 rockets now for the under barrel we're going to go all the way down and select the m1941 hand stop for that recoil control and accuracy this is going to be a very important attachment on the vargo s making sure you guys can actually control this high damage assault rifle at longer ranges and outgun automaton users make sure you guys have this on under the under better category now for the barrel we are going to put on the custom barrel this barrel does absolutely everything we need this weapon to do and more in order to go ahead and build up a fast and easy streak we're getting no enemy skulls recoil control and accuracy damage range and aiming stability this is the absolute best barrel to run on the vargo s if you guys are trying to use it at close range medium range and long range and also build up a streak in the enemy spawn because we're going to be off the radar now for the magazine we are going to run the damage rounds so we can go ahead and bump up that damage giving us a faster time to kill this is also going to make this weapon hit like a truck and outgun automaton players at ease at those longer ranges so make sure you guys go ahead and have this equipped it's going to be a mandatory attachment now for the ammo type we are going to run lengthen lengthen is going to be the absolute best ammo to run on the vargo s again allowing us to use it at longer ranges a lot easier and pack a punch definitely a mandatory attack from this gun now for the optic just like a majority of the weapons here in vanguard the sight reflector is going to be the best choice under the optic category it's going to be very easy to use this weapon at any and all ranges and that's going to be super important ease of use is key and considering the fact there really isn't an upgraded iron sight attachment for the vargo the sight reflector is going to be the only option that makes sense under this category now for the rear grip we are going to put on the fabric grip this is going to be a great attachment to run on a majority of the ars as well allowing us to have that increased aim down sight speed with the fire speed hit fire recoil recovery you can't go wrong with this attachment run it if you guys are trying to be aggressive and if you guys really aren't that much of an aggressive player it's overall going to speed up the handling and allow you guys to get kills a lot faster now for the stock i personally like to go ahead and put on the padded sl this is going to be a great attachment allowing us to literally walk around aim down sight ready to win each and every gunfight if you can run this on an ar run it this style of stock is going to be king here in vanguard now for the resistance this is going to be super key on the vargo because we're essentially going to have two items in once we're going to run icy veins this is going to allow us to have that reload quickness as well as action recoil while injured or suppressed now if you guys are playing blitz or some type of objective game mode this is going to be essentially always enabled so you have two perks in one a faster reload and also increased recoil control and accuracy it's going to be the best option under the proficiency category and then finally for the kit we are going to run fully loaded so we can rock this weapon from kill one all with a kill 25 till we get that v2 rocket just a nasty class setup that you guys should definitely try out if you guys are not running this ar right now it can outgun the automaton consistently at longer ranges main the setup is going to be the combat knife ghost ford and tail scavenger sticky bomb as well as the stem shot now for class setup number two we're going to go ahead and take a look at the MP40. This is going to be everybody's favorite SMG here in Vanguard. It's a very consistent SMG, and I understand why a lot of people like to run it. Let's go ahead and build a class that you guys can use at any ranges and overall get a V2 rocket very easily with. 
now for the muzzle we are going to go ahead and put on the m1929 silencer this is going to be a great attachment on the mp40 if you guys are going for a stealthy approach and looking for something you guys can build up a quick and easy streak with now if you guys don't really care about building up streaks you guys just want a running gun smg that you guys can dominate anybody on the map you guys can put on the recoil booster but for streaking wise the m1929 silencer is going to be a better option now for the underbarrel, because this is going to be a submachine that we're going to be aggressive with, getting my enemy team and potentially building up a quick and easy streak with, we are going to go all the way down and put on the SMLE pistol grip. We can bump up that sprint to fire speed, hit fire accuracy. This is going to be the best attachment under this category, going ahead and enhancing this weapon's close range lethality. Now for the barrel, we are going to go ahead and put on the first barrel. The Krausnik barrel, the 317 millimeter, is going to be perfect for those long range engagements. This is going to essentially have MP40 turning into an assault rifle. This gun is going to have zero, and I mean zero recoil with this attachment. Super easy to use even at those close to medium ranges and obviously long ranges as well. Make sure you guys go ahead and equip this. Now for the magazine, we're going to run the damage rounds. This is going to overall just make this a consistent three shot kill and just make this weapon very very lethal at any and all ranges any sq you guys can get a fast time to kill with and maintain its close to medium range capability is going to be amazing in this game so make sure you guys have this on everything else is going to be irrelevant under the magazine category now for the ammo type because this is a submachine gun lengthen is going to be the best option don't run any SMG here in Vanguard without running length. And I'm telling you guys, you want to have the capability at taking people out at longer ranges easier if you guys get into some of those gunfights. So make sure you guys have this equipped. Now for the optic, luckily the MP40 has clean iron sights. We're going to clean those up even more running the upgraded option, which is going to also give us a faster aim down sight time. So it's going to be a double whammy. Make sure you guys have this on your setup. For the rear grip, obviously, we're going to be running the fabric grip. This is a submachine gun. Run this on every single SMG here in Vanguard to speed it up and make sure you guys are taking people out very easily at those close to medium ranges. Now, for the stock, we are going to keep the first stock equipped. This is going to make sure that we can go ahead and ready weapon faster off of a sprint and dominate those close to medium ranges. We're going to be getting a sprint to fire speed and movement speed the best attachment under the stock category and when you couple this with the smle pistol grip you're going to have a submachine gun that's going to be excelling at any and all ranges and that's going to be amazing when going for a v2 rocket now proficiency we are going to go ahead and put on steady steady is going to be super helpful with this weapon allowing us to have reduced movement penalties again going to bump up that close range lethality making sure that we can go ahead and dominate players no matter where they are on the map and then finally for the kit we are going to put on fully loaded so we do not have to worry about ammunition and we can rock this submachine gun very very easily from kill one all the way to kill 25 so we get that v2 rocket definitely go ahead and give the mp40 a try if you guys have not already i mean the setup is going to be the combat knife ghost for an intel scavenger sticky bomb as well as the stem shot an absolute dominant class setup in the smg category now for setup number three we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the cooper carbine everybody has been wondering what i'm running on the cooper carbine and honestly i see some very weird and funny setups out there that don't just take advantage of this weapon strengths this assault rifle is on par with the automaton as well as the vargo some of you guys actually might prefer this weapon over the vargo because it technically is a little bit easier to use and just a weapon that you can just point shoot and just take care of business so let's go ahead and build this setup so for the cooper carbine under the muzzle category we're obviously going to go ahead and put on the mx silencer for that sound suppression and accuracy again this is going to be the best muzzle for a majority of the ars making them super easy to use at longer ranges and being able to get behind the enemy team and build up a quick and easy street now unlike a majority of the assault rifles here in this game we are going to put on the carver foregrip for the specific loadout allowing us to have that recoil control and hit fire accuracy this setup you can use this as a submachine gun as well so we are going to be running a lot of movement increasing attachments that are going to be reducing the aim and accuracy so we want to go ahead and bump that right back up with the carver foregrip now for the barrel we are going to put on the cooper 22 inch custom barrel this barrel is going to be perfect on this ar allowing us to have recoil control reduce scope swing gun bob and the big one fire rate fire rate is also technically like a damage improving attachment here in vanguard because 
usually in this game the faster weapon shoots the faster time to kill we're gonna have so we're gonna have both of both worlds with this attachment definitely go ahead and have this on under the barrel category for the cooper now for the magazine don't run anything and i mean do not run anything else besides the 30 caliber carbine round this is going to go ahead and bump up the damage making this weapon very consistent at longer ranges nothing else matters under this category the 45 round magazine is perfect you can take out like six players with one clip with this it is amazing make sure you guys have the under class setup do not run anything else i'm telling you everything does not matter besides the 45 round carbine mags now for the ammo type obviously this is an assault rifle we are going to go ahead and put on lengthen cooper carbine is going to benefit from this again making it a lot easier to use at those longer ranges now for the optic we are going to put on the slate reflector ease of use here you guys can also run the saturn or the g16 2.5x all these are going to be pretty good attachments but if you guys want something you guys can run and gun with, with this class setup is going to be kind of based upon the slate reflector is going to be your best option and i highly recommend it on the cooper carbine now for the rear grip we are going to go ahead and put on the fabric grip again this is going to be an attached you guys can use if you guys are running and gunning and obviously this setup is built around running and gunning and also taking people out of longer ranges so having that increased aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed if i recall recovery is going to be a great attachment under this assault rifle category now for the stock we're going to go ahead and actually remove it under the cooper guard but we're not going to run the stock at all this is going to go ahead and bump up that movement speed sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed this is going to be super helpful on this assault rifle because again like i said previously this is a weapon you guys can run and gun with and also get people out at longer ranges super effective and this is why i love the cooper so much you can do whatever you want with this assault rifle and not get punished when you guys are running the right class setup now for consistency just like the vargo s remember this is going to be a weapon you guys can interchange with the two to combat the automaton we are going to go ahead and put on icy vein so we have two for one we have that increased reload and we're also going to go ahead and have that increased aggression and recoil while injured or suppressed remember if you guys are playing objective or blitz modes this is pretty much always going to be enabled you're going to be locked and loaded and on top of that more accurate every time you get in and out of a gunfight and that's going to be super crucial and then finally for the kit we are going to go ahead and put on fully loaded we can rock this assault rifle all the way from kill one to kill 25 we get that v2 rocket just a dominant class setup that you guys cannot go wrong with i mean the setup is going to be the combat knife ghost for an intel scavenger the sticky bomb as well as the stem shot so for the fourth class setup we're gonna be taking a look at a brand new smg the ra225 a lot of people are not running this weapon yet i think it's because people out there don't have it unlocked don't know what to run on it or still stuck on the mp40 let me go ahead and give you guys a dominant class setup so under the muzzle category we are going to run the m1929 silencer now just like the mp40 build this is kind of interchangeable because that's kind of what i'm trying to do with this video is kind of give you guys options instead of the hard meta weapons you can either run the silencer or the recoil booster if you guys are just trying to go ahead and get your streaks don't really care for nukes the recoil booster is going to be a great option but if you guys are going for v2 rockets obviously that m1929 silencer is going to be the way to go with this submachine gun now for the underbarrel, this is going to be a no if ands ors or buts situation about it we are going to go ahead and put on the m1941 hand stop so we have that recoil control and accuracy this weapon is going to be deadly accurate at longer ranges and pack a ridiculous punch but also good at close ranges so make sure you guys go ahead and have this under your class setup so we can have a very easy to use submachine gun that can combat the mp40 now for the barrel we are going to go ahead and run the moravec 810 inch needle so we have that bullet velocity and range as well as accuracy just a great attachment on the submachine gun again strengthening its long range capabilities and the cons are going to be completely irrelevant because hit by accuracy we're not going to be hit firing with this weapon at all so who cares now for the magazine we are going to go ahead and put on the 0.45 acp round this is going to be the damage rounds or the submachine gun going ahead and giving us a faster time to kill make sure you guys have this under class setup this gun is going to be a monster with this equipped going ahead and allowing us to outgun a lot of mp40 users none of the other attachments are going to be super helpful so just go ahead and run this one and luckily it's going to be your first attachment of choice now for the ammo type just like all the other submachine guns we are going to rock lengthen so we can have a fast time to kill 
at those longer ranges now for the optic you can either run the slate reflector or you guys can choose to put on the medium or the larger set of iron sights they're all going to be great options the iron sights on the submachine gun are actually pretty good but again for ease of use because that's going to be super important here in vanguard the slate reflector is always going to be number one so you guys can go ahead and throw this on your class setup now for the rear grip we still are going to run the fabric grip you can go ahead and bump up that close range lethality it is still a submachine gun you guys can use at longer ranges why not go ahead and increase that aim down sight speed to fire speed hit fire accuracy just a great attachment on this brand new dlc submachine gun now for the stock we are going to go ahead and put on the urban tack this is going to be perfect it's like an ar attachment on a submachine gun allowing us to literally walk around aim down sight ready to win each and every gunfight and that's why i love the submachine gun and why i say it can compete against the mp40 even some of the other assault rifles now for the prison seat we are going to go ahead and put on tight grip on this class we want to have a very easy point and shoot submachine gun that's good at all ranges why not go ahead and bump up that action recoil during sustained fire the more you shoot the more accurate you become what more can you ask for and then finally for the kit we are going to go ahead and put on fully loaded so we can rock this weapon very easily from kill one all with a kill 25 so we get that v2 rocket you can't go wrong with this class setup you're gonna be outgunning mp40 players and also challenging ar players at those longer ranges then the setup is gonna be the combat knife ghost forward intel scavenger sticky bomb as well as the stem shot now for number five we're taking a look at the kgm 40 man this is i can't stress this enough if you guys are not running the kgm 40 i don't know what you guys are doing this gun is a melt machine it has very little recoil and it it's ridiculously good let me go ahead and give you guys an amazing setup so for the muzzle you guys can either run the recoil booster or you guys can run the mx silencer both options are great if you guys are looking for a ridiculously fast killing assault rifle we're gonna actually put the recoil booster on for this class setup now for the underbarrel again we are gonna run the m1941 hand stop a great attach to run on all ars just going ahead and removing any and all recoil with this weapon making it a straight laser beam now for the barrel we are going to go ahead and put on the crude stick 700 millimeter barrel again for that increased recoil control reduce swoop scope sway and gun bob as well as aim walking movement speed just a nasty attachment on the kgm 40 again making it super easy to use at those longer ranges the nice part about this barrel is we actually have some more aim walking movement speed so you can literally walk around aim down sight and just mow people down so it's just going to be a great attachment option now for the magazine we are going to put the 30-06 damage rounds like all weapons here in vanguard if you guys can run the damage rounds and get away with it definitely go ahead and equip it giving us a fast time to kill and coupled with the recoil booster this gun is going to be dropping in before they can actually react it's that ridiculous and then for the ammo type and like usual we are going to put on lengthen for that increased build velocity just a great ammunition to run on the kgm 40 this weapon already kills fast enough let's go ahead and speed it up even more now for the optic you guys know man we're going to be running the slate reflector i've tried and tried and tried to run the iron sights in this weapon i personally don't like them they're very 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 obtrusive and we're definitely going to be needing an ease of use optic for a weapon that's going to be killing enemies so fast so just go ahead and run it it's just going to make everything that much smoother now for the rear grip again we're going to be running the fabric grip i run this on all of my weapons here in vanguard it's amazing it allows you to go ahead and take people out at close ranges so why not go ahead and bump up that aim down sight speed and overall close range handling now for the stock because luckily we have the Reisdorf stock for this is which is going to go ahead and bump up that aim walking movement speed we're going to be able to literally walk around quite literally walk around aim down sight ready to win each and every gunfight with this assault rifle and mow down players without them having a chance it is disgusting for the proficiency we are going to go ahead and put on brace this is going to be a great attachment going ahead and bumping up the initial action recoil this is overall going to strengthen this weapon's time to kill at ranges and making sure that players don't have any time to react when they get shot because all your shots are going to be hitting them very accurately no matter where you're shooting them whether it be the chest or going for a headshot and then finally for the kit we are going to obviously run fully loaded so we can rock this weapon incredibly i mean incredibly easily from kill one all the kill 25 so we get that v2 rocket congratulations you just created an assault rifle that can mop the floor with automaton users man the setup is going to be the combat knife 
Ghost, Foreign Intel Scavenger, Sticky Bomb, and the Stem Shot. These are going to be the top five fastest killing weapons here in season five of Call of Duty Vanguard. If there are two class sets, I want you guys to check out. Number one has to be the Vargo S, an automaton contender. And also make you guys go ahead and try out the RA-225 if you have not already. A brand new SMG that is seriously packing a punch. Hope you guys do know the video. Hope these setups do help you guys out. And if they do, let me know down in the comment section of this video. And as always, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn those post notifications. I'm your boy Ears, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.